Hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this session how to day trade any market the purpose of this video is to give you an overview of a number of trades taken on the YM also known as the Dow I'm also going to show you in this video how you can get started as a day trader with only $250 by starting off trading the micro DAO. but most importantly we're going to examine a number of trades and if I remember correctly for this particular day I took four trades um, three were profitable one was a break even now I know for some traders and even for some individuals you may say well look $500 is not enough for me I want more than that well all you do is increase your position size you add more contracts now what I'm also going to show you today is that it doesn't matter which market you trade whether you trade futures Forex or stocks you apply the exact same strategies to those markets now also very importantly is you'll see that uh, today I think I fired the trades off uh, and hit my goal within 20 minutes uh, the next day I've got another one uh, I think it was 15 minutes so I also don't want to make it seem too easy in fact it's not difficult but you've got to put the time in to learn the setups but the great news is this isn't rocket science it's about learning the patterns and mastering the patterns and these are patterns that we see that appear in the market each and every day so let's get straight into this first of all I do need to put up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer in full I want you to remember remember also that with most trading platforms now you can start on the simulator before you even go live and when you do go live consider starting on the micros particularly if you're looking at say futures or Forex now one of the important things and this is uh, from market analyzer from NT8 and these are the markets that I'm interested in now first of all you don't have to be interested in all of these markets I'm an educator I run a live trading room and I run coaching classes each uh, week so for me it's important I've got a really good handle of what's happening in the market overall but what I want to point out was here on the YM this particular day 195,000 contracts uh, were traded what you're looking for is in any market to make sure it's tradable you really want to see it turning over 50 to 80 to 100,000 contracts a day you want to see that there's um, a really good volume so on this particular day I had uh, 20 minutes of scalping which you'll see in a moment uh, four trades three wins uh, one break even so 655 uh, seven sorry 573 40 uh, after commissions now very very quick advertisement if you don't already have my ebook the truth about day trading please click on the download link below so you'll be able to download that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do that way you'll be able to be kept up to date with all of my latest um, uh, videos and even better still join my program for $197 you get my top 15 strategies there are dozens of training videos all of my indicators are free whether you be using ninja trader uh, trade station mt4 even if you use other platforms I give you the settings that I use which enable you to basically trade my setups on any trading platform and last of all as a bonus I also give you eight live two-hour coaching sessions so each week Tuesdays and Wednesday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I run two hour live coaching sessions where I have uh, traders all around the world log in and we discuss trading I'm teaching you exactly how to trade the setups which we're covering just not trading but the psychology of trading and a whole lot more now this is truly a ten thousand dollar program I think hopefully you get an idea of this when we get to the charts in a few moments uh, all of this is only one hundred ninety seven dollars there's a link to join below end of advertisement let's get into this all right couple of things first of all you can day trade 
uh, the futures and uh, Forex markets are basically 23 to 24 hours a day Forex of course uh, 24 five days a week and futures you can be trading 23 five days a week so for some of you you may be thinking well um, I've got a full-time job what about uh, I can't trade when I get home that may be applicable of course if you want to trade stocks but then you've got the pattern trading rule where you need to have twenty five thousand dollars available or you can start with as little as I'm about to show you two hundred and fifty dollars trading the micro now I'm just going to mention this for a new trader this won't mean a lot to you right now but for the experienced traders uh, watching this is um, when is or when which then is the best chart time uh, chart time frame to trade and what I say to members is whichever is tradable meaning that we've basically got three trading times during the day we've got the uh, the Globex session that's after New York closes the, the markets close for an hour they re reboot the com reboot the computers and the market reopens and you can actually get away with trading the YM the ES and many markets with a Renko chart that is which I'll show you today and it doesn't matter what type of chart you trade you can get away with as little as a one tick the reason that's important a smaller stop loss if it's a little too fast for you you jump up to a two tick and during the New York hours that is once you go from Globex into the London then you go into uh, the New York session you're sort of increasing the time frame likewise if you like tick charts uh, you might um, during the Globex session trade with a 21 tick and that's sort of about the minimum size of course you might jump down if you like your fib numbers maybe down to a 13 tick uh, if you really want to but 21 leading up to an 89 and typically on the YM you might be trading then um, a 144 which is very tradable during the business hours now I just this is very important that I paint the picture because I get to see all these promises of riches uh, on YouTube and um, uh, on Google when it comes to day trading well traders get rich slowly you truly can make a great deal of money day trading I'm going to show you how the thing is though we never risk any more than 2% of our account now I know some of you will probably want to jump off this video you don't want to hear the truth because you can't handle the truth that is if you break your money management rules you're going to lose your money that's the bottom line now we're going to be looking at the two tick Renko now on the YM a two tick Renko will mean at times my stop loss may be as high as 10 ticks which is $50 so the YM for every little price increment move, movement is $5 so therefore 2% 2 of two and a half thousand is $50 so therefore per contract I trade that's what I need now you don't even have to put all of that in your um, uh, trading account you need to have it some in cash reserve if you like and some in your broker's account but this is a reality but I'm going to show you how you can start much smaller and and build your account now in the, the sessions that I'm going to be recording now like today's session uh, another session I've got ready to go and for next week you'll see I'm trading five contracts and the reason is I want to show traders how they can basically earn five hundred dollars a day minimum on average so uh, in this case for this market we would need five lots to do it comfortably now what it meant or what it really means is that if you're trading five contracts and going for a hundred dollars a day okay that's 500 a day uh, you need to uh, twelve and a half thousand dollars the great news is you don't start there and in fact even if you've got that set of money you don't want to start there you start on the micro earn your stripes okay and I'll show you what it means if you say earn 150 a day now what this really means bottom line is 500 a day part-time that's two and a half thousand a week let's just say you trade 46 weeks a year that's one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year not a bad part-time income now as I mentioned we're focused on the YM 
uh, I trade the YM, the ES, I trade gold, I trade oil, um, a CL, the Texas T, uh, the currency futures. Initially, what you want to do is really focus, become a specialist on maybe two markets. But what I'm just showing you here is that um, with the YM or the micro contract, which is 10%, your broker will tell you you only need $500 intraday margin or $50. You need to have 8,800 if you're holding overnight positions, which we don't do as day traders. Now, you may see there that, hang on Ray, you've said that I need two and a half thousand. That is correct, because what this does not take into account is our 2% rule. So stay with me and you'll get to pick it up. Very, very important, we follow our money management rules. Okay, so let's set some realistic income goals. Realistic. Now, you know, I can always tell virtually every time a trader that's got massive potential or one that's already profitable because they have a trading plan. They have targets. They have goals. And people with goals succeed because they know where they're going. Now, goals lead to success. And it's so important traders and something we teach in when I'm teaching members and we're going through the psychology of trading, you're seven times more likely to achieve a goal if it's in writing. Now, when it comes to effective goal setting, as I'm going to show you the right setups in a moment, what would you attempt if you knew you could not fail? So let me show you this. Now, this uh, and, and by the way this spreadsheet if you click on the link below there's a couple of links you can actually uh, request this document this compound calculator here uh, so you can play around with this and there's a little video um, which I show you how to do this now uh, or how to um, uh, realistically put in a daily income based upon the contract uh, uh, size you're going to be trading now in this particular case, if you're trading and targeting $100 a day, and I'm a scalper, I'm in and out, so I need four net trades a day or three eight tick trades a day. What this shows me is $100 a day, every time I double my money, I start trading another contract. I have the potential, or you have the potential, of netting $10,000 a week within. 90 no, within 19 weeks now what it comes down to traders is whatever your income goal may be I tend to find the young guns the young men and women now I'm 63 uh, they may want to be earning their 10 to 20 grand a week others we may be happy with our four to five thousand dollars a week it comes down to what your goal is the great news is we don't have to execute a lot of trades now here's what it means if we start off with a two and a half thousand dollar account and we go for one hundred dollars a day and we keep our money in our account once we double our money that is once we're up to five thousand dollars we can then start trading two contracts once we get another two and a half thousand in our account we start trading three so in other words this is a very realistic constructive um, uh, trading plan we're building and trading with the markets money I could show you other spreadsheets um, that'll show you you can do this in three weeks but let's be realistic you've got to build both confidence and competence what it means here by week 19 I'm up to my 10 grand a week trading 20 contracts uh, a day and my account size is now 61,000 now what about for those traders that really want to put in maybe a good two to three hours a day they get to uh, spend the time mastering their setups and you go for 150 a day you got the potential there of hitting 10,000 a week in 12 weeks that's only six scalps or five seven tick scalps that's after commissions so what it means here is that once again the 750 you leave in and once you double your money you start trading another once you get another 200 uh, two and a half thousand in and by week 12 we're up to our 12 grand a week and our account size is fifty thousand dollars now let's also look at this which is very important and even if you've got two and a half five ten fifty one hundred thousand dollars 
why not start on the micro build both your confidence and your competence and then switch over to the big contract or even if you don't have two and a half thousand you can start off with two and two hundred and fifty dollars remember that the micro is a ten percent of a value and based on two hundred and fifty dollars here and going for just ten dollars a day so instead of one hundred ten dollars a day in 15 weeks our account is now 2800 2870 let me just show you this so starting off with 250 ten dollars a day we can see that within 15 weeks I've now got here two thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars in my account what I then do is jump over and start trading the big contract now the bottom line is this in 15 weeks we've now got enough to trade the big contract you've also built your confidence and competence you can now move over to the big contract go for just hundred dollars a day in 19 weeks your accounts now up to 61,000 the total time taken 34 weeks the question I want to ask you where will you be financially in 34 weeks from now you can start off with $250 and build from there so this is the true potential once again I could show you all sorts of ridiculous compound sheets but here $10 a day $15 a day okay so as we go to the charts there's a few things that we need to take into account we need to check regularly where are our pivot levels and you'll see why in a moment where are our prior day open high low and close levels now I better just mention this for new traders these are indicators available basically on virtually every trading platform now free you don't have to buy them once again when you become a member with me you don't have to pay anything for my indicators but these are what we call predictive indicators most indicators are lagging we also want to know where our major EMAs are not only on an entry chart but I also use a higher time frame we want to know where our intraday highs and lows are the current days high and low and the round numbers once again traders um, it's you know this isn't rocket science once you understand these these levels you also understand the importance of why you've got to incorporate them into your trading so now let's, let's now get to the charts and see how in 20 minutes of scalping day trading for uh, four trades three wins one break even so let's get over to the charts here and let me pull this up here where are we just down here wrong one okay so uh, let me do that's right so I've wound it back just a little bit here just to show you and explain a couple of um, uh, real basics here so just here we've got uh, this is what we call a 2BD I'm not going to go into all the code so I've got a number of setups and what I've done is coded those for an example up there this is probably uh, and it actually was and see there so this is what we call a 2BD now a 2BD traders is very easy to learn what a, P, a 2BD is sorry or what a 2D is that's a 2BD once again my videos are unedited okay um, that's where we have divergence major divergence that's where the market reverses and a 2BD means I've had a double bounce and it's after divergence we had one over here we had one here now for an example over here we had major divergence you want to be very careful in trading against divergence here if you had have taken that trade you would have been stopped oh, and I should have just mentioned here traders that we're looking at a Renko chart Renko charts are fantastic for newer traders because they smooth out price action now of course you can use you might be into tick charts this is the close of um, uh, Friday's price action so it looks even messier but if you look at the difference between say how a tick chart looks and how a Renko looks it's a lot smoother so it makes a great spot to start with so let's just catch up with um, our price action here 
So look, all of these would have been uh, winners and you can see we call this the cloud we're on the way down now here is actually two great examples this is called a pivot just here we break through a pivot we come up and we bounce off it down here this white line traders this is the prior days close both of these plot automatically and just note you bounce off that and we bounce off that now you may notice here you had a little bounce so you may think well wouldn't that be a loss you wouldn't have taken that one traders because that one just there that is uh, it's a counter trend trade so you want to have divergence there it is there now as we then um, are heading up after that bounce remember before I mentioned to you uh, in the PowerPoint about really watching out for the 200 EMA and here in this particular case we had a bit of a bounce just there now orange means we're trending down blue means we're trending up now just here so we're catching up we're nearly at the live trades okay so I just wanted to to show you what it's like now first of all as we trend up just note here we're one tick once again off a pivot you see I mentioned that pivots and open high low and close and um, round numbers and some of their major EMAs are predictive indicators because so many of us trade into those but I want to show you something once again now for a newer trader this may be confusing but see here how I've got a lower high again and here I've got a higher high we call that divergence but not only do I have a higher high but I've got a pivot bounce just like down here I've got a bounce off yesterday's close we see this every single day so what does that mean to you well as you learn to trade these areas make a massive difference because it, it really makes your trading very mechanical and rules based now as we come up you can see there if we had have taken that trade come up and sort of tested our stop and by the way remember before uh, I mentioned about uh, one two and four tick these are two tick Renko's and where we put our stop loss is one tick below one tick above one tick below one tick above so um, the larger the candle size the larger your stop loss is but perhaps I'm getting too complicated here for some of you but anyway now that formed a what we call a beautiful double top pivot bounce would have been a, a, just a beautiful winning trade right down here then we had a, a typical trade then we had what we call a almost to bet the farm and so members that are watching this you know what I mean by that and question mark you can see it wasn't quite a best of bet the farm in fact we then rally up and we're now heading into a bit of a danger zone look we've got a slight downtrend here uh, but we've just got to be very careful our long-term stochastic is against us now if you had have taken this trade here's one where you would have had a loss okay we've had a stack of wins but here you would have taken a loss and this is where traders get it so wrong this is why you only trade with 2% account size you've got to think and trade like a casino do we see the casino changing their rules because they have two or three losses in a row absolutely not they stick to the rules so one of the things you've got to learn traders is to think and trade in probabilities of 20 okay so you not anything can happen with the individual trade so lesson number one here when we go into a period of consolidation like this where we're starting to go sideways what I'm looking for is a new higher high and I think if I remember correctly this is where I take my first trade so I come up here I rally up I get a new higher high and I've got an entry now I could have actually entered either there uh, or there and here in this particular case I just wanted to see a more meaningful breakout because that's how we tell um, or that's really the footprint I should say to a trend higher highs and 
higher lows if we're looking at trending down we want to see lower highs and lower lows followed by a lower high again so here this is a trade I then went long and here see the pivot just up above now I'm a scalper now here's why scalping works and why it's almost stress-free the purpose of scalping traders is, is to make small profits while also exposing your trading account to a lower level of risk which means having small stop losses as well now what I will normally do when I come up to a pivot I'll usually take a profit now in fact here I rallied up and I actually went to break even and locked in three or four ticks because I was really expecting to get a pivot bounce which I didn't have so I got filled on my five lots and I was out of that trade what actually happened then it then continued on its merry way now I remember um, uh, many of you have probably heard or may not have heard but Marty Swartz the pit bull one of the things that he says is that Marty's now 77 and very much like me he's a scalper through and through I've never been a trailer I like to get in get out I love to hear the cash register ring so you'll see you know I miss out on a lot of these but when I try to trail it's like Murphy's Law I start trailing and it goes against me you know so I you'll, you'll see me nearly all the time scalping I just prefer to do that but yes we could have trailed I just wanted to mention that now I then rallied up and this is so that was a, my first trade here's my second trade now this is what we call a 2d t3 I had two divergences one on my anchor chart one on my entry so that makes it a loaded trade beautiful divergence here but I've got a little secret it's called the t3 which is a reversion to the mean trade I'm not gonna give away all my secrets here but the t3 members you know what it is so I actually had a t3 I think on the anchor chart one as well okay so this was a loaded trade and oh, we also then had a t10 set up as well and down we come thank you very much now if I remember correctly I went for 10 ticks on this particular trade here now this is uh, where you've got to focus so straight after that and it was very tradable um, uh, no it was actually fairly quick that's right I walked out the room to grab my green tea and I missed out on this 2BD okay so that would have been a really nice one now what I want you to notice is where price action is going let me just label just mark this up the market loves to try things twice and look at that there we rallied up formed a beautiful double top now I then jumped in on that double top now I'm waiting for my anchor chart one candle to close and the entry chart and here my break even is either six or seven ticks is my break even so typically I'm looking for eight to ten tick moves but what I'm looking for is what's in front of me what's in front of the trade now coming down here you can see just there I've got the 89 EMA so coming on down here I then hit plus seven automatically I've gone to break even my uh, ATM does that for me and uh, at then I moved my stop down one more tick so I locked in two ticks because I allow one tick in slippage at least and that's one thing one slight disadvantage with the YM particularly on the lower time frames and during the Globex session the after hours session we have a lot of what we call slippage nearly every trade you'll have one or two ticks very very common in this particular case I should have locked in four ticks why I come down I bounced off the 89 and many of us know that's a, usually a great bounce point or even a potential long trade just there so I should have locked in four ticks expecting the bounce just like I had one here um, and I got stopped out at exactly break even so I didn't even cover commissions on that one so 
uh, with that one there focus 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 traders and I then I jumped in on this particular trade here because what I had just there that is uh, for, for members watching this so I had a t10 there I also had a t10 on the anchor chart one and I picked up eight ticks out of that as well so what we had there was um, 655 and 573.40 after commissions now straight after that there were some great opportunities then just here uh, for members watching this that was a t20-1 however what's in front of us once again this is traders is a 200 EMA got to remember that with any trade we take what's in front of me this is what we call above there's what we call blue skies nothing in front of me until maybe we get up to this height up here the high of day but what I've got is a major EMA down here now over here and I'll finish up on this one here oh, we had another 2d just here over here next means um, no anchor chart one candle so there was no valid entry there we didn't have a rule of one on the anchor chart one but then it set up beautifully just there so um, you know that was a great session over 20 minutes now what I do say is to new traders start off by trading with the trend first of all okay so you want to really take your trend trades because getting to master divergence trading can take a little longer there's sort of you've got to be aware of a few more things when it comes to um, uh, trading with divergence okay you get up like this is a trend trade that's it we didn't take this one there's a black and white um, rule why you wouldn't have been in that one but you could have taken that one that one um, then we get a pull back down here uh, uh, that's another with trend trade as here we've got one and by the way just there you may have had a loss in fact that was just before we opened the trading room and I'll tell you what that was that was a, uh, a 200 bounce on your anchor chart so traders look getting a bit beyond um, uh, the session now so look there's a fantastic opportunity um, day trading if you learn how to day trade the right way the first time okay so come and join me in my classes download my ebook for better still for $197 you can uh, get all of my indicators training videos email support etc and you can attend eight live two-hour coaching sessions now if you can't attend the sessions live of course I've got members that watch the members all around the world you can watch the recordings as well and after the first month which I know you'll want to continue with me it's then only $97 a month you have to subscribe to that so there's no extra sign up fee um, once you become a member but after you see the first month I'm pretty certain you'll want to continue to attend the coaching session so traders hope you enjoy this and I look forward to seeing you on the next video and as always I love day trading